hello it's monday currently yeah haven't been haven't been up to much i'm literally just watching coachella all day long <laughs> like imagining that i'm there i stayed last night up to like 4 a.m to watch Rene Rapp's set which was as expected incredible and yeah and i'm going for a run with a friend of mine that i haven't met for 10 years maybe because we used to train fencing together <laughs> like a while ago and I, I don't yeah we haven't met ever since i quit so yeah because she also got into running now i think it's like a thing former fencer player to runner arc <laughs> um, because i also have another friend in she lives in the uk right now like around brighton and i was supposed to meet with her as well to run together when i was like in in london <laughs> but that like didn't happen at the end but the thing is everyone that's like ex fencer apparently turned into a runner so that's that's a thing i guess and also it's 29 degrees today i'm not kidding 29 degrees and yeah like insane so now i'm just not gonna layer because i'm literally just gonna die it's like we decided to go a bit later because of that like around six to run because it was just too hot during the day to run i mean it's still <laughs> hot but i mean middle of april to be 29 30 degrees i don't think that's like <gasps> that's okay <laughs> i mean i'm enjoying it because i'm already like in my summer mood but at the same time it's insanely hot but that's it i also spent an amazing weekend at my summer house the weather was also super nice had a little walk on saturday sunday literally just tent for two hours on my like at my garden <laughs> and that was it literally just tent not that you can see it because i'm white as hell but yes and i'm gonna go run this week is gonna be extremely busy <laughs> like i'm meeting up with so many friends of mine we're having dinners going to boiling bo boiling boiling no <laughs> to bowling with like a couple of friends on thursday and then at the same time i decided that i'm still gonna run on sunday the half marathon i'm just not gonna do it in vienna i'm gonna do it in sofia obviously and i'm still planning like the details of all of that how it's gonna go but yeah like route and all of those things but yeah at the same time i'm still getting ready for that during this whole week like um it's my final week of my training plan and that's that okay i'm gonna go run <laughs> to the run meeting with my friend because i'm gonna be late but i'll catch with you soon I'll go watch uh, rene rap set from coachella somewhere i don't know like that's my current vibe and chapo runs chapo room go watch chapo room please bye up into good positions four and lift your chest to your chin melting down the spine vertebra at a time oh, we're gonna windshield wiper the legs a little left to right until the legs are all the way out long extended on your mat and you can take your hands somewhere on your body if that feels good or maybe they rest gently at your side I'm going to take three breaths here, inhale in, exhale, we're connecting, good spirit, good stretch, you guys are my heroes, hope to see you soon. Bonjour, it's Tuesday morning to lunchtime now, I just finished my quick little yoga session because I definitely needed like some stretching and I already even had it for a plan for today but ended up running 8k yesterday with my friend sarah and it was super nice it was kind of more like a trail run because we ran basically like in the forest slash park like it transitioned first we were in the forest and then we went to the park and then we went back to the forest because it was also so hot it was literally humid as well it was like 29 degrees i think almost 30 and thank god for that like uh, literally like we escaped the heat a bit there but it was super super nice like it felt really good like at ease definitely i was like struggling a bit with my breathing because i was sweating so much and today i'm heading now to do my last speed run 
of my plan me saying this and I haven't done any speed work for the last three weeks I think it's been <laughs> but I decided to do like one final session today and I'm heading to the park to do it because I just cannot be bothered to go to a uh, to go for, like further away to do it I'm just gonna head to the park now to do it for a half an hour and yeah we're 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 kicking off like tapering week for the half marathon really really well I would say but I watch like one of the like influencers that I follow she's like British she's called Savannah she's like super funny super cool super motivational and she was literally yesterday because she's gonna be participating in a London marathon and she was like you cannot be safe like you you don't know like I literally she was like I cut myself like I cut my finger you cannot be safe like if you just like be super careful and that's literally me yesterday like I, I don't know if you can see it but I literally cut myself as well like I think in the same evening literally yesterday I watched her in the afternoon saying that in the evening I literally cut myself and I was like you know what I'm not saying I mean, obviously I'm not participating in an official race but still in my, I'm participating in my own race so that feels like even like for me if I don't complete that it's gonna be it's not gonna be good for my mental health last week I've been working 12 weeks for that moment so we're kicking we're pushing yeah 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 I'm excited and I'll see you guys soon to update you on my journey for this half mara but yeah see you soon with the smile hi <laughs> it's Wednesday and the weather got horrible like horrible And I'm literally just all day long, like, staring out of the window. I was supposed to go out, but yeah, I'm just going out for dinner lately. And now I'm just gonna do a quick yoga session for like a quick, but it's actually gonna be like one hour long because I really need like some stretches in. I was supposed to do a hit today workout, but now I'm just gonna do like a strength based yoga because I just, I don't know, I decided to shift it a bit because I definitely, I don't know, I feel kind of sore even though yesterday I just did 2k for my speed run but I feel sore and I decided to like not test my legs too much so I'm just gonna do quick yoga now and yeah, tonight I'm also going for dinner with friends of mine and I'm already starting to fuel up from today so I think I'm just gonna eat the pizza and yeah, I'm just pizza, rice, and like literally everything that's carbs so I can carb load from today basically I could do it from tomorrow on too but it should be like two, three, four days before like the race and yeah I'm gonna show you now the weather because it's it's insane and I'll, I'll meet you soon you can also join me for my yoga session maybe now so let's get it I'm truly not sure if I wrapped that yoga or that yoga wrapped me because it was super intense also if you notice behind me I was doing the entire yoga for one hour with Chapo Ron behind me so I think that really dives into my current me mental state that was more than I can really tell you but it felt good it felt good it was kind of it was a harder one honestly I kept it a bit like less tense than it was actually it was good to tune in to my body and like build a bit of strength and release some tension and now I'm just gonna go get some protein in my body because get your protein okay anyway slay see you soon I'm actually back <laughs> I made myself my banana protein smoothie I literally just put like this time only I feel like I've put I feel like I put the least products in this one honestly because I only put pea protein powder it's vegan I also put it's kind of like a bee pollen that I'm drinking it's like for other health reasons but it also has protein in it I put like three four like tiny spoons of yogurt as well Greek yogurt Bulgarian yogurt not Greek one banana that's it didn't even put peanut butter because I already had my dosage of the day 
and also because I'm having this rhubarb with protein it's basically with peanut butter and it has 11 grams of protein plant-based bio vegan everything you imagine it's super good it's literally my favorite currently and it's by this Bulgarian brand rhubarb not sponsored again and then I'm having my salted water that's it nothing more nothing less that's what I need to recharge a bit and yeah. Hello, I'm doing my Friday session on the cycle now and I'm listening also to Taylor Swift's new album but that's a whole other thing so it's gonna be an interesting cycling session I feel like just just because of that but yeah yesterday I was supposed to run like an easy 3k but my legs were so not feeling it so I just gave up I was like no not that I gave up I was like you know what I'm gonna take a break because I realized I went on a deep Strava like history like search of my last runs and stuff and a deep dive and basically I realized that I've done my best and performed my best when I've taken a huge break. Not a huge break, but at least a couple of days up to a week. And I don't want to risk it, like, just not feeling good before the half marathon on Sunday, which is feeling, like, way too soon at this point. So I just decided I'm gonna do, like, an easy cycle session now for half an hour up to an hour. And then I'm gonna just do tomorrow like an easy 5k run with a friend of mine to so just like just a shakeout run and that's it Nothing more nothing less and I'm gonna obviously I think tomorrow I'm just gonna do like a lot of stretching and go to bed like <laughs> earlier so Important thing that I've realized an advice from me That's currently like getting ready for my first like half marathon be careful with restaurants if you're going to a restaurant like just be careful what you're eating there because it can definitely mess up your stomach and you don't want that before race day so just keep it safe cook for yourself at home because like this week i'm just meeting up with a lot of friends so i'm like constantly out but my stomach is so sensitive that it's not currently doing good but i'm thankful that at least today and tomorrow i'm like eating at home so at least i can i if 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 i mess up something with the food it's gonna be all on me so you know at least that but yeah that's it i'm gonna do my little cycling session with taylor swift right now in my headphones uh so wish me luck i guess more for for this this was happening with cycling it's it's easy but that's a whole other level so yeah yeah see you soon okay so i just completed the ride and i accidentally pushed to a half marathon but the bike version <laughs> but it felt good because i really wanted to test out nutrition wise how i'm gonna do and i managed to finish this ride for less than one hour so hopefully girl mat i'm able to run the half marathon in two hours even though i'm estimating two hours and 45 minutes for it but who knows i might surprise myself but it felt good i had one gel i had a bit of water water with electrolytes and it felt super good maybe because i was listening to the new tamers album so i think i'm gonna push myself <laughs> actually surprisingly even though i have a whole playlist for this half marathon i might just like mess around and play the entire tortured poets society or whatever <laughs> not society but yeah i'm actually gonna play it you know while i'm doing my half marathon that's gonna be interesting <laughs> Yeah, who knows? I'm gonna go refresh a bit, eat my protein. I feel good. That was that was chill. Maybe because I was just too focused <laughs> on the album and the lyrics and everything. Oh my gosh. Anyways, yeah, see ya. Strike a pose. Lovely. <laughs> Hello, hello, it's Saturday morning 
and it's literally it's not even 2 p.m. and I've already done everything that I needed to do today like I went to like I went quickly to run 5k with my friends to do like my last workout of my half marathon training this feels insane so I officially completed my 12 weeks of preparation for the big day tomorrow which as I already told you like I'm completing it on my own <laughs> planning my own route and everything which I feel like is much 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 harder than just going and having everything like figure out for yourself so we'll see how this goes but thankfully my friend is gonna be supporting me in the last 5k so shout out to Tony I actually ran today with him and it was super nice like we went on a morning run in the center which I've said that I'm never gonna do but I actually <laughs> went out and did it because it was chill this morning to be honest like there weren't that many people because the weather in the morning wasn't that good uh, but now it's obviously oh my god wait Taylor Swift started playing in my headphones so this is the situation with the sun like you literally cannot even see me wait yeah, I don't think that's much better to be honest but yeah so that's it now I'm just gonna relax we also went to grab some bagels afterwards and I had the most insane granola ever it was so tasty I was waiting the entire week um, to have it I'm going back home to just re relax basically before tomorrow I get enough sleep I think I'm even gonna go to bed like honestly at like six like I don't have anything better to do and actually I didn't get enough sleep last night because I was supposed to go to bed like max 12 one ish I even like didn't go to the birthday party after celebrations because of that and I still went to bed at 3 a.m. so it's all on me basically <laughs> yeah also the weather forecast for tomorrow is gonna be shit like I was planning on vlogging but I'm a bit scared my camera is not gonna make it so I'm not sure I'm gonna risk it and I'm also doing such a huge route <laughs> like I'm not doing loops or anything like that I'm just straightforward running through like seven different neighborhoods around Sofia because I feel like I'm gonna get bored if I run at like at the same area and I'm not gonna be motivated enough like this so that's why I planned a route that's gonna be interesting and challenging as well because I haven't run I've run like two tenths out of the entire route so yes 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 but I um, I'm, I'm feeling energized except the part that I didn't have enough sleep and I was feeling a bit sluggish actually this morning during the run but it felt good to like move a bit and do this shakeout run with my friend so yeah excited about tomorrow and let's see let's see how it goes let's see i hope i can take you on this journey with me so you can see it otherwise you see the final results but it's coming it's it's finally the moment i'm so excited i'm gonna have the best sleep ever <laughs> especially pre and after the run i think after the run is gonna be the best sleep now it's a bit a bit more stressful but i'm still looking forward to it so yes i guess i guess see you on on race day tomorrow and, yeah. race day sunday morning i'm currently having my breakfast woke up in time it's currently 7 30 and i just need to do a little bit of stretching and i'll do a tiny bit of makeup because yeah i want to feel good while i'm running i'm having my protein shake banana protein shake with pea protein then i'm having my coffee just with like milk not with regular milk of course with almond milk and then i'm having literally what i'm having every single day because nothing new on race day so i'm having this pastry with cherry jam and then i'm also having a bit of like this oshi like kind of like drink and then i'm having like i already drank one of those like 750 milliliters i think 
with some salt for electrolytes for energy and i think while i go out i'm gonna be able to drink one more of those and that's it i'm already dressed up i'll be glammed up soon as well and yeah i'm feeling good except i have a bit of i don't know if it's migraine or just regular headache at this point i don't even know but hopefully when i eat and have all this like liquids in my body it's gonna feel better and then i should be out soon and yeah i'm excited yeah also the weather is good actually it's not raining which i was the most like worried about but it's not raining and they say it's gonna rain like around 12 and i should hopefully already be finished by then so that's good that's good i cannot put like i'm gonna be not putting extra layers that's that's good and hopefully i can also take you guys with me yeah i'm excited i'm excited and yeah we're buzzing soon especially after i'm um, having this coffee i'm gonna be like pumping with energy um, but yeah, I'll meet you guys soon. Okay, I'm heading out. Decided not to take my camera with me, sadly. <laughs> but I'll be attaching like videos that I took with my phone because just the camera is gonna like weight me down. And I don't have a running vest, as you can see, sadly. <laughs> but you still see some footage. Yeah, I'm, I'm pumped now. I'm pumped. And that's the, the final fit. Hopefully you can see it. Yeah, I'm pumped. Let's get it! Let's get it! I just came back home. I did it! Oh my god, look at me. Schley. My <laughs> literally I cleaned those last night and they look like this. So I think that's enough definition of everything. But I did it for two hours and 39 minutes. Oh it feels it's like six minutes below my expected time because I was by my calculations I was expecting 2 hours and 45 minutes also it rained at one part I think it was around the 14-15 kilometers it rained like a lot like I'm currently like freezing a bit because yeah a lot of things happened after the room because my dad was supposed to like get me afterwards with a car but then the car like the like broke down so we had to fix it for 14 minutes my bladder was gonna go crazy like i just needed to go to go peace girl and also i got like cold because i didn't get extra layers and i forgot to put any extra layers in the car because i was like 10 minutes and i'm home taking a cold shower and that's it and now also because i have a reservation for pizza like <laughs> to get with my friend now i'm also gonna be late because of that delay but still i'm like i'm buzzing with energy my friend also supported me in the last 6k i'm like so thankful for him he was like in the best mood like singing songs and everything just when i needed it and the last 1k really pushed my limit but i'm, I'm proud of myself honestly it was it it was a mental challenge but it didn't feel that hard on my body i think around like the nine like 18 19 20k was super hard push uh, but thankfully again like I had my friend to support me so um, support is extremely important especially because I wasn't doing oh sorry my focus is not wait okay no yeah anyways yeah but it didn't it didn't feel feel that bad on my body but when I wrapped it I was like oh my god and I also stopped for breaks obviously for chills and then I think it really hit on my like feet that it that it hurts like it really hurts that's why i was like i'm not gonna stop i'm not gonna stop i'm not gonna stop and that's what i did literally only stopped from chills and they say don't do anything new on race day i knew that but still i did one thing new and that was like stopping at a stop uh, at a shop because i wanted to get water because i didn't bring this bad body with me because i was like ah oh, it's gonna be heavy it's gonna be like slow me down blah blah i don't know i should have gotten it but yeah, so I stopped at the store to like quickly get water and then it was like not 
expensive enough to buy it with card so I had to get some isotonic drink that I've never had it was disgusting and it was huge it was like 750 milliliters and I was like bro thankfully my friend brought me afterwards some water um, some napkins <laughs> because I was like bring me napkins I brought like two napkins note for next time bring more napkins because you're gonna need them especially if it's raining what's happening with this focus but yeah anyways now I'm gonna go eat some pizza forsake a shower and change because I'm looking like a I mean it's raining outside so it's at least I have a reason but I want to look slay so yeah have like 10 minutes to get out <laughs> and I'm also doing a little vlog which you can probably see my TikTok and Instagram by now thank you all for coming on this journey with me feels amazing I feel accomplished and tomorrow we're back because you know a finish line is just another starting line so I need to shake those legs after this intense race thingy 21k yeah see ya this is literally the fastest that i've ever gotten ready for anything fit i added an extra layer because i'm feeling like super cool for no reason at all i know the reason but still actually the, uh, the hair is not gonna be like this i'm off to have a little pizza with my friend celebrate and relax definitely and i feel so refreshed after the shower so chef's kiss so see you soon in the pizza place.